Okay, test, camera test. Okay, I think we're set up. Hey guys, Corey here. Um, it is uh, 4.54 on Sunday. The Bucks have lost to the Falcons and I'm sad. First things first, guys, I, uh, I, I just wanted to do this extra video um, kind of as a rapid reaction to the game. So I'll get into just random thoughts from the game without doing any research or any watching of press conferences in a second here. But I wanted to thank you because we are at a thousand subscribers or at least almost. Right now I'm at 999. I'm assuming that one more will come in there. But I just wanted to say sincerely thank you for subscribing and for coming back to these videos week after week after weekend kind of as a result or a reward or whatever you want to call it, I'm going to start doing videos like this. Uh, sometimes maybe a rapid reaction from a game or maybe just during the week thoughts. So just make sure that you're subscribed if you're not and click the bell notification icon. That way you'll know when the next video is up. And also follow me in, on Twitter at the Play Reaction. I'll let you know when it's up there. But yeah, so uh, where am I? I, I? I look like I'm at my grandma's house. So this is my studio. I, I think I'll just show you guys this real quick. So this is, this is my studio. It is a spare bedroom room in my in-laws house um, that's because I don't have my own house I'm living with my in-laws so that's fun and they are uh, nice enough to give me this bedroom um, this is this is it that's this is where I record guys um, I, I, a lot of you have complimented my production quality and I'm just gonna kind of squeeze by the lights here um, this is this is where I record um, so when I asked for donations on Patreon. No, that uh, this is not a professional studio. This is basically just thrown together. Um, here's all the boxes still on the bed from the lights and the green screen when I bought them. Big, big thanks. Big thanks to the Peter cast, specifically Ren Dax. This Bucks flag, finally got it in. Um, those are pretty great guys over there. You should follow the Peter cast, listen to their podcast. They're pretty awesome. So. Anyway, I just thought I would show you this just to kind of give you a behind the scenes look as part of the thousand subscriber reward. Um, so this is it. This is this is my studio. Pretty neat, huh? If you want to help me out and get me to a point where it's not as thrown together as this, uh, you know, the donations are appreciated on Patreon. Patreon.com slash the pay reaction. Play reaction. Patreon. Patreon.com slash the play. Patreon.com slash the play reaction. So yeah, I... I think all that's left now is to kind of just react to this, to this game. I think I'm gonna sit over here, ah, back in the rocking chair. So, the Bucks lose to the Falcons in a pretty heartbreaking fashion. I tweeted out that photo of Dewey from Malcolm in the Middle. It says, "I expect nothing, and I'm still let down." That's absolutely how I felt about this game. I did have a little hope, honestly, that we would come in and that we would at least compete because this team has had a history of whenever they got blown out, they would come back and suddenly clamp down on defense and we'd win the game. Sure enough, that first half happened and it was business as usual for our horrible, horrible Mike Smith led defense. The, the Bucks fought their way back, much like they did in 2017. They made it just close enough so that they would break our hearts at the very end, which is just so nice of them. I, I just really appreciate, can I just really appreciate how they think well enough of us to at least make it close and then rip our hearts out, so that's fun. I, I you know, I was actually watching this game with my wife, who is a Falcons fan, and after that lateral, whatever you want to call it, fumble ruski play that the Bucks tried to run at the very end of the game that almost went down, went for a touchdown had Deshaun Jackson caught the ball. I turned to my wife and I just said, why do they keep doing this to me? Um, it's tough being a Bucks fan, guys, and you know it. It's very hard. For whatever reason, everybody has their own story. For me, I've rooted for them since the mid 90s when I was a kid. We remember those glory days, a lot of us do, when this team was feared. And it's been 10 straight years of games just like this one, where they just come so close. And then they just, for whatever reason, whether it's Murphy's Law or just poor execution or bad coaching, whatever it is, they rip our hearts out. I'm feeling it up here, especially in in the city of Atlanta. I'll probably hear it from my coworkers, even though that team's not very good. <laughs> I am not looking forward to that. But guys, you know, I already I'm seeing through Twitter, it's, you know, defense this, uh, offense that, kicking game, offense, defense, special teams, whatever 
you want to blame this on, it was a team loss. Everybody deserves their share of the blame, from the kicker to the owners. I mean, this was a, this was a team loss. The defense could not get together, and when they did, the offense couldn't get, to get, get it together. When the offense got it together, the defense couldn't get it together. And then there's the part where we score at the very beginning of the game, march right down the field, Chandler Cantzaro misses an extra point, and that leads to us trying to convert a two-point conversion later in the game, which we don't get, so that's three points left on the board, kind of a two-point swing there. You know, then there was the the fact that the offense got into the red zone a couple times and threw interceptions and turned it over in the red zone. You can't do that. And then there's, there's the fact that the defense was horrible in the first half, allowed the Falcons to march down the field with 30 seconds left and kick a field goal at the end of halftime. That ended up being the difference. They allowed the team to kick a 58-yard field goal with a guy we know and love very well, or used to know and love, and his huge leg, Matt Bryant, allowed him to kick a 58-yard field goal. I mean, it's just everything came together for us to lose this game. And it is tough. It is hard. But guys, I know I'm here with, with you in this. This is more therapy for me. I don't really have any glimmers of hope other than the fact that somehow this defense figured it out after halftime. And that kind of drives me crazy because it's just like the Steelers game. The Bucks defense will just, the floodgates will be open for the first half. And then they figure it out for the second half. And suddenly the Falcons only scored, I think, 10 points in the second half. I, it was a different defense. So why this defense can't get it together at the beginning of the game and have a complete game is mind boggling to me. Maybe there's hope there that this was the start of them figuring it out for the rest of the year. Maybe, maybe not, but it's gonna be another one of those years, guys. So. We're in this together. Um, make sure that you follow me on Twitter at The Play Reaction, even on Instagram. Subscribe, and we can talk it out together. I know you're angry. Voice your angry opinions on Twitter. That's what it's for. But uh, in the end, I think the wrap up is let's take a deep breath. Let us follow the right experts on the game, the people who break down the film and, and really try to figure out exactly what went wrong where and, and have informed opinions. Let's not just go off our emotions and say fire this guy or that guy or trade for this guy, trade for that guy, cut this guy, whatever it is. Let's, uh, let's just have some informed opinions. Be on the lookout for a video soon. I'm recording as soon as I stop recording here for my new video. That'll be out later on in the week and maybe we can laugh together about it by then. Thanks for joining me guys. Thanks for the thousand of you that subscribe already and here's to a thousand more. Go Bucks.